so so we left off with Dawn and in, in, in Paisley down in the in the depths of the cathedral having saved the aunt the the person who was the uh the the meteor yep um so you're standing there in the, the rubble and the ruins right on top of this uh, on top of uh this glowing crater that's glowing a soft blue light yep yep kind of like pulsing 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 and in the middle of the crater is this young man who uh is he's got short he's got long like long blonde hair and he's really tall and he's got like he he looks like a seasoned warrior he's got scars his muscles are fucking bulging um and he's wearing tattered ragged clothes and not far from his outstretched hand is a giant sword. Okay. What do you do? Um. Is he? You did you say he's unconscious? Yes. Um, I'm going to kneel beside him. And um, because I have um, spring. I would like to use um, that magic to cast Well of Life and um, use that to cast some healing effects on him and see if maybe I can bring, wake, wake him up. Okay. Let me bring up my... You would think I'd be prepared. We've been doing this for three weeks now. <laughs> uh... Good morning! Do, do 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 rules uh oh dice for beta okay i'm not prepared either i forgot to get the dice out um so we me do the mage thing do the mage thing let me fish out my dice those are the wrong ones right. hello tt Hi, TT. Uh, that is a seven. A seven. Yeah. On a hot seat, you get to choose from this list here. Um, we're gonna go with figures. They succeed, but a whole new problem is introduced. Select an option from both good and bad options list. Okay, here's your good options list. And here's your bad options list. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to go golden opportunity. Create an opportunity for the character to achieve their fulfillment. Mm -hmm. um, which is friendship. Um, and then... I'm going to say turn for the worse and experience a negative resource change. All right. So you have to spend a point of mana on the spell. Okay. Um, for those following at home, mana is a binary proposition. Either you have mana or you don't. As long as you have a point of mana or more, you can cast spells. And if you run out of mana, you can no longer cast spells. Right. Um. So, uh, you describe your spell. Um, so she is, um, she is going to like lean over him. Like she puts her head down to his chest and she can still, you know, feel that his heart hears heart beating. And so she is going to, this is my favorite way to cast spring and well of life. She's actually going to lean over 
and kiss his forehead and as she kisses his forehead she's basically pouring mana into him to try to heal him okay <clears throat> uh, so his eyes will flutter open and he'll groan Ugh, my head that will get better in time and he stops and he looks around and the first thing he sees is you. Hi. Hi. You had quite a fall. He kind of like looks around at the crater then he looks at his hands and it dawns on you that uh like as he flexes his hands he's he doesn't know what's going on. At all. Okay. So I am I'm gonna just introduce myself. My name is Paisley. This is this is my friend Dawn. Um She doesn't explain any further about the the true nature of her and Dawn's relationship because one, she doesn't think, she doesn't really know if it's anything beyond hired mercenary, and she doesn't want to have to try to explain that to him. Um, but also, it doesn't really matter in this situation. And she's going to do her best to explain what she experienced from her perspective. Okay. Um, and basically, like, you fell from the sky and threw a building down several stories of catacombs and when we found you there was a vampire and we killed it you're good now he kind of touches his neck where the vampire was biting him and looks at his blood smear well actually no because you healed him um, and looks at his palm but he doesn't see any blood and uh, he sits up he sits up and uh One moment. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. So he sits up and his hand instinctively goes to his back, like above his shoulder, as if to grab a sword. But there's no sword there. And then he turns and he sees the big sword on the ground and he hesitantly goes and he picks it up. We are currently playing it through, we're doing a test play of Ark World, which is a game designed by our friend e Evil Squeegee, who is our DM for the day. Or for the game, actually. Hello. <clears throat> you might want to take it easy. You took a pretty big fall. And while my magic is good, you're still going to take some time to heal. He kind of leans on the sword and pushes himself up to his feet, and he is he is tall. He is big. This is a mountainous man. And, like, Paisley does that slow look up, like, oh. Oh, you're tall. Okay. She's not. At He's, all. I need the, I need the tablet. The tablet? The tablet. What does it look like? Like, we're talking stone tablet? Like... Yeah. Yeah, the tablet of truth. I don't know what that is. He shakes his head. He says, I don't... I don't think I know either. Is it something you were carrying with you, or something you were seeking when you came here? I don't know. Okay, okay. That's... that's fine. Um, Paisley's gonna look around to see if maybe there's something resembling a stone tablet around. Roll me do the thief thing. Do the thief thing. That is also a seven. <coughs> uh, all right. The lists have been pasted to you. There's the the yes. first one is the the first list is the uh, is the hot seat list. Um. Let's go A for effort. They succeed, but it's not what they dreamed it would be. 
All right. Um, you can search around, but you don't find any tablet. Okay. I, um, I don't see it. Nope, it's not there. You are as thorough as you like, though. I'm a what? Oh, as thorough. <laughs> yeah, as thorough as you like. Okay. Yeah, like, I'd say, like, she finds all kinds of random shit, but no tablets. Yep. So... I wonder if maybe it's something you were seeking when you came here? Do you even know how you came to be, like, hurtling through the sky towards us? He says, no, I don't remember that at all. The only thing I remember is opening my eyes and seeing you here. Okay. I well, okay, let's take a different approach. I told you my name. I told you my, my companion's name. I don't think I got your name. Uh he stops and he scratches the back of his head. And his eyes kinda dance this way and that, and he furrows his brow. And he says, Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. It's really nice to meet you. It's just nice to meet you, too, I think. I promise I'm not going to hurt you. In fact, I've already healed you once, so that's got to work in my favor, right? Uh, this whole time, Dawn is being quiet and watching. She was hired to help get to the bottom of the mystery at the cathedral. She wasn't hired to play doctor. Right. <laughs> Not her realm of expertise. Uh, Aubrey nods. He says, you seem nice. I try to be. I'm often misunderstood. <laughs> A little clumsy. He says, well, uh, what do we do now? Um... Maybe we go back to the surface and fight off any undead we see along the way, because there's quite a bit. Um, help kind of clear this area so that the town can start rebuilding their cathedral, and we go see the bishop. Maybe the bishop can help us. Who's the bishop? Um... He's kind of the religious leader of the area. She's totally making this up because she's not 100% certain that she's speaking the truth. Um, and if there are any kind of tablets of that nature, he can maybe help us figure out what you're looking for. Wait, Bishop was a girl or a guy? You don't remember now. Uh, them. Uh, let me double check <laughs> all my notes. Don't you? Didn't you take notes? <laughs> I did take notes, but I don't remember. I wrote that down. Do 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 do. Check this thing. Check this thing. Click here. Kalaria. Did not write that down. GM screen. The Duchy of Middlesex. Uh, the bishop is a is a short woman named April Ca April Crawford de Akasha. Bishop is it? okay. April Crawford. Hey. They're there of my same, my same house. Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, Aubrey nods and then like looks up at the the series of ropes and catacomb floors and things. Um. Uh, and kind of then looks down at you and, like, you get the idea that he's lost enough that he's just gonna follow your lead. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna turn to Dawn and, uh, we're gonna head back up, um, 
fight off any of the bad, any baddies we meet along the way, because, you know, there's, I'm sure we're going to run into them. And, uh, get the hell out of here. Alright, so, like, climbing up the ropes and climbing up, 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 and up, and up, and up is going to be a do the fighter thing check. Okay. We're going to sum up your travel out of the cathedral in one, in one roll. <laughs> that's a, that's a five. Okay, you've got the you've got the bad list sitting right here. Um We are going to create a situation that threatens the character with their flaw. Curiosity? Yes. Alright, so as you are climbing up and out of the uh out of the cathedral, um hmm, last time I did a chest, so this time I will do What will I do? Hmm. Could put an annoying bird in the cave. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> it just sits right. It's, it's like it only sits outside my window when I'm streaming. Literally, I will turn the camera off and it'll go away. Wow. It's the weird. It's like when my cats only come in here when I'm streaming. It's the weirdest thing. It's like I want to be famous, yo. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm having a hard time coming up with something off of that, so can you pick something else? Um, sure. Um. How about a turn for the worse and we experience a negative resource change? <laughs> uh, okay. In that case, pick up another point of exhaustion. Okay. So we pick up the point that we got rid of. Okay. Um, so climbing out is uh, a pile of work because you've got to, like, hoist yourself up a whole bunch of ropes. Mm-hmm. Um, even Dawn, who does this sort of thing for a living, is, uh, is showing some wear and tear. But Aubrey doesn't even seem to notice. He just grabs the rope and hoists himself up like he does this every day. Okay. Um. When you reach the top of the cathedral's floor and you're climbing out of the cathedral itself uh you find that uh remember the the bald guy with the with the dark skin and the tattoo over one eye yeah that was like you can get yourself killed if you want yeah <laughs> um he is surprised to see you climbing out And she just smirks at him, and I decided not to get myself killed today. <laughs> this is, uh, good work. Who's this? This is Aubrey. Um... Aubrey he, nods. He, he was the meteor. He was the meteor? That's the only conclusion I can come up with, because... There was no meteor down there. We got to the bottom of the crater, and that's where we found him. So we're going to take him to the bishop and see about rectifying this. There was a vampire. We killed it. You're welcome. Good work. I don't know He's... what causes the undead to awaken, so I don't really know how to solve that problem. But maybe with the vampire dead. Maybe that was the solution? 
This is, let's hope so. Yeah. I will be right back. Okay. I am back. Welcome back. Um, so when you say that you're on your way to see the bishop, the uh the 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 night vigil will um will get out of your way. Uh, and continue barking orders at a couple of kids that are working for him. <clears throat> okay. Um. My cat is Let's sitting see. on the back of my chair, just... Yep. So you go past the guardhouse and into Raven's Rest, um, where, like, on your way in, the guards out front give you the, the that, that motion where they point at their eyes and they point at you. They point at their eyes and they point at you as you walk in. Mm-hmm. Um... And you can find the bishop, uh, basically where you left her, off to the side. Uh, or, sorry, the stu- you want to you want to talk to the steward first, right? Um, maybe? Or do you want to talk to the bishop first? Because you- because the steward was the one who gave you the mission. Oh, then yes, we will talk to the steward first and just report our findings. Okay, the steward will happily hand you a bag of coins for your work. Sweet. Uh, you go ahead and mark down that you have a point of wealth now. <clears throat> that was 500 gold. Okay. Sure. Yep. Um... So you, uh, she, the, the steward, the steward hands you, is it, who is the steward? Where's, where's my notes? Yeah, uh, Brendan Marks take an axia. Um, the steward will hand you the gold and thank you for your service. Uh, as you give her a briefing on what was discovered, she suggests that you go see the bishop about uh, your potentially angelic friend here. Yes. And, and I will wholeheartedly agree. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will take, um, I will, I will escort Aubrey over to, to the bishop. Um, have we dismissed Dawn yet or is she still with us? Um, once she, once you turn in the mission, Dawn will, uh, Dom will cross her arms and say, "All right, well, if you need me, I'll be back at the Mercenaries Guild." All right, thanks, Don. You're um, kind of awesome to work with. And she like does like an awkward wave. Yeah, she'll she'll wave back, uh, and there's that awkward moment of quiet before she scuttles off and out of the Great Hall. Um, and then you head over to the Bishop. Uh, the bishop is a notably short woman, uh, who we just remembered was named April Crawford de Octasha. Yes. Uh. Oh, Kitty. <laughs> he is sitting right behind me, just like, like, he, he looks like he's draped over the back of my chair, like a bearskin rug, and he's just like, making these little squeaky sounds. Oh, wait, now he's deciding he's jumping off the chair. Buddy. <laughs> he was not getting the detention the attention he desired and now he's stalking off offended <laughs> <laughs> okay so we talked to the bishop um i'm also going to explain to the bishop what happened um explain um what aubrey told me down in the in the bottom of the catacombs we're not really sure where to go from here we're hoping you could provide us some guidance um, the Tablets of Truth, she kind of rubs her face a little bit. I would need to do some research, and that'll take some time, especially since the cathedral has currently been destroyed. Sure. Um, I will talk with the Royal Agency and see what <clears throat> can be done about transferring some resources from another church, probably the one in, Elvin, in Elvenwood. 
Um, in the meanwhile, uh, stay around nearby, and I will send somebody for you when I have more information. Okay, we we can definitely do that. You 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 can do that, right, Aubrey? And she like looks at him like like that. That's fine, right? <laughs> Hi, still. Aubrey shrugs. Aubrey shrugs. Um, he doesn't seem to have much of a problem with it. Excellent. Oops. Um, and that leaves you with a little bit of coin and some time to kill. Okay. So what do you do? Um. I think the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is secure lodging for at least the night. Okay. Um, you've been to uh, Whitebridge before. There are two taverns. Okay. There is Yield Frog, which is a high class, a favorite for a, a favorite locale for the highborns, such as yourself. And then there is the Gentle Spade, which is a commoner bar, which is a little run down. Okay, um... How much of a hassle would we get for going to the... Well... Yeah, I know. How much of a hassle would we get for going to the Gentle Spade? Um, you wouldn't really fit in. Okay. Then I guess like, we, mm -hmm. it it's not like they would turn you down, but it's not it's not where you belong. Fair enough. Um, okay, well I guess go to the yield frog. Okay. Um <laughs> so yield frog has a sign out front that is carved in the shape of a frog, right? With the words yield frog kind of carved along the bottom that the frog is sitting on top of. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of waving in the wind. And you climb up on the porch for, up the staircase and Aubrey follows along. That's basically all he's done since he, since you woke him up is he's kind of like following along like a puppy dog. Okay. Um, and uh, you open the door and there's music playing and the, the place is, is bustling um with people uh what do you do when you get inside um i'm going to immediately walk up to i guess the the barkeep and uh ask about lodging all right so the the barkeep is a grumpy and overworked looking man with black hair uh and he's uh, and, and and uh he kind of grunts as you catch his attention. <clears throat> and he says, uh, lodging, what? We're, we're looking for um, at least a room, two rooms if possible, um, for my companion and myself for the night. Um, we're we're going to be in town for at least a day or two. And we wanted to see, like, how expensive that would be, and, um, yeah. If it's even available. <clears throat> um, he nods and pulls out, like, points at the sign, like, jerks his, th uh, jerks his thumb at the sign with the, with, the, with the prices for lodging, and then reaches under the counter and pulls two keys, each one with, like, a little tab attached to it with a room number. Okay. And he puts them on the counter. And you you can afford to pay. Okay. Um, and then he just immediately goes back to ignoring you. And doing like cleaning mugs or whatever it is that's keeping him from going home because he really wants to go home. 
and she just like does the awkward wave. Thanks for your help. Um, <sighs> right. She turns to Aubrey and she's like, she hands him one of the keys and it's like, well, we have rooms for the night. So if you want to get some rest, cool. If you want to walk around the town, we could do that. Um, what, whatever you would like. Um, we don't really have anything to do till we get here back from the bishop. <clears throat> um, and he, he kind of looks around and says, I think I want something to drink. We could do that. Sure. Um, and he pats himself down and says, but I don't, I don't have any money. I got it. Don't worry. And he'll head off to the bar. Uh, you can buy him some drinks. He drinks a lot. <laughs> oh no. Um, <clears throat> not enough to, not enough to drink you out of, out of the, all of your winnings yet um <laughs> but he'll drink into the night and then you guys can retire to the inn and as short as this session has been that seems like a good place to stop okay um i will be i should be back next week okay uh, but I, I have an appointment i have to keep not a problem at all. Thank you so much for jamming today. Thank you for playing. Yeah. I will leave you to your, uh, to your, your, your stream. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Luca.